When I was younger, I didn't really understand how politics worked. My views as a child was I didn't understand how these grown adults could be so mean and how they could squabble like little children and not come to fair decisions for their people of their country. When I used to bring it into conversation with adults, they didn't really acknowledge what I was saying and they always said that I'd understand when I was older. It's been roughly eight years and I still feel exactly the same way. And as I've grown up and gone through life and gone through education, I've grown to learn more about this politics. And I remember in history class at school, I used to sit there and I used to read about all the things, all these things that have happened in world history that governments and political people have done, all these bad atrocities that people have chosen to do with their power. And I used to get so riled up, just this burning feeling inside of me, just anger and upset at how people could actually do this. And how the people, the civilians, the people who live in the country are referred to as a statistic, just a side effect, just a byproduct of these power struggles between all these big names. There is no such thing as a fair leader in today's politics. There isn't, even in a democracy. Democracy works in theory, but does it hell work in practice? Politics today oozes corruption. There is not a single shred of today's politics that has some fairness, some dignity, unless we push and push. Why are we doing the pushing? Why are we protesting? Why are we campaigning when they can do it at the flick of a wrist? Why do we feel so powerless when it comes to decisions that affect us directly and not the people who are running the country, who run the laws and choose the laws and say what goes just on their basis and their terms alone? That is not how politics should be run. Politics should be run by what the people want, not what those people want. Democracy and politics itself has been cracking and it's slowly been waiting to break. Events happening right now in the world today as you're watching this video. Brazil having massive national protests and riots because of unfair economical management by the democratic government. The people are being oppressed and they're fighting back. In Venezuela there are massive protests and riots being caused by unjust elections and violations of democratic rights. The people are being oppressed, they are fighting back. In America, in Texas, a third 13 hour long filibuster was held by Wendy Davis to help preserve abortion rights for women. The men who she was up against in the courtroom broke the law in front of her to try and stop her. And even though there was thousands and thousands of people who were all screaming and shouting in the name of Wendy Davis and women's rights and the rights of the people, those few men in that courtroom were the only thing stopping us from getting that. There was chaos in the courtroom, people protesting outside, and thousands and thousands of people giving their support online. The people were being oppressed and they fought back. In Greece, they're in economic crisis and a party with very similar views to the Nazi party are putting members of the LGBT community in concentration camps grasp that. There is a lot of uproar in Greece right now. People are being oppressed, they're fighting back. In Russia, anti-homosexuality laws are being drafted up which directly affect the safety and the rights of all LGBT Russian members. Just five of the massive things happening in the world. Now here's the sinker. Barely any of these issues have been covered on TV news, in newspapers, none of them. So how do so many people know about this? How is this news travelling? And the answer is simple, the internet. The internet is a beautiful place to be right now. The internet is the greatest network for all this information about all these disasters that you will ever get. Social networks, online media, online journalism, that is where you can find the information on all of this. Democracy is slowly falling into pieces and we will be there to catch it. People should not be afraid of their governments. Governments should be afraid of their people. I will let you take this video at face value. I will let you do what you want with it. We are changing politics right now as we speak. History is being made because we are working together. Do not think that the internet is powerless because it is not. It's the biggest communication tool we have. We are so big. There are so many of us. We are unstoppable. The people who are meant to represent us have failed us. The cracks that are oh so deep in democracy make us question whether it really was uncracked. Does a mother give a dummy or a pacifier to a child because she feels it needs it or because she wants it to be quiet? Raise awareness and spread the word for those who don't know on all the things that are happening in the world right now. We are big, we are powerful, we are unstoppable. Be strong, 
be brave and be bold because it's time for change. And that makes me happy. Take care and I'll see you later. Filibuster boom! That's a wrap. I'm done. See you later.